Hi, this is Stephen Breyer from Merritt Valley Community College. This is for CSIT 256 Computer Architecture and Assembly Language. Um, and this is the overview video for Irvine Chapter 8. What I think is going to happen is there's going to be a series of demo videos that will be demoing specific um, um, topics. Uh, one of the videos that's already there is, um, it's already there, <laughs> that I created earlier was the um, the showing the difference between stack parameters and register parameters and then actually showing how memory looks in terms of um, how the stack is used um, for when passing parameters. Now the reason why that video uh, then becomes important is in the 64-bit calling convention for procedures the first four parameters are placed in registers and any additional parameters are pushed onto the stack which means in 64-bit, beyond four parameters, it actually is using both of these techniques. Now, something that this video here does show um, is pass by value and pass by reference. What I think I'm going to do is an, an additional video that just focuses on the pass by value and the pass by reference. Um, whether or not it's going to be that video or another one, uh, I want to revisit uses and I want to take a peek at local variables. Uh, what I'm probably not going to make a video on, and so I'll just make an aside here, is the latter part of the chapter um, shows bytecodes. So when Java is compiled, so you have a .java file, and you go through the Java compiler, javac.exe, um, it creates um, a .class file, and that class file contains bytecodes. Well, what um, the latter part of Chapter 8 does is it shows the format of those bytecodes, which looks very close to assembly. There's mnemonics and then there's operands. Um, and uh, it's just an interesting thing to peek at. Uh, that's chapter eight.